To draw the first angle of the graphic projection of this particular block, we have been given the arrow of the front view to be from this particular place. So we are viewing our front view from this particular place. So let's start with the base first. We have been given the length of this place to be 100 mm. So I'm going to be picking 100 mm on my on my drawing paper. 100 mm. Now we have been given an height here of 75. So I'm going to pick my C square and draw a straight a straight vertical line of 75 please ensure you are using thin lines please ensure you are using thin lines then i'm going to measure 75 millimeter like this at this point okay so now we have been given an height here here to be 22 millimeter so i'm going to pick 22 22 millimeter at this point like this then we have been given a distance here of 15 millimeter 15 millimeter distance so i'm going to pick 15 millimeter from this point like this 15 15 millimeter okay so now i'm going to be drawing a straight a straight line from this point make use of thin lines please make use of thin lines you are not going to be thickening out or then i'm going to draw a vertical line at this point like this at this point like this now we are going to be joining the top here at which the 75 millimeter is reaching i'm going to be joining that point together like this in this manner okay so i'm going to be picking 70 millimeter 70 millimeter from this edge i'm going to pick 70 millimeter placing it at this point okay so now we have been given the distance at which it is going to meet this place here to be 40 millimeter so i'm going to be 40 millimeter right up here 40 40 so i'm going to join them together like this in this manner please ensure you are using thin lines please ensure you are using thin lines okay so now we are going to move straight to this place we are not going to be leaving this place alone we have been given the length of this place to be 16 millimeter this particular place length to be 16 millimeter so i'm going to pick 16 16 millimeter on my on my ruler like this in this manner then i'm going to draw a line like this okay so that's not all for the front view there is an o here which we are going to also be taking into consideration this o here so the o is actually having a height of 12 millimeter so i'm going to pick 12 12 millimeter right on my ruler like this at this point now because we cannot actually see the o from this front view here we are going to be representing it with short dashes okay so that's all for the front view let's take out the parts that we ought to take out Okay, so that's that for the front view. This length is 100 millimeter. 100 millimeter, and this is 75. 75 millimeter. Now we are going to move straight to the plan of this particular drawing given here, like this. So, first of all, we'll draw the plan, which is also the top view. We are going to be projecting all lines from the from the front view, which is the front elevation. So we are going to project straight downward like this from this point then from this point also we are projecting downward then this point also we are projecting downward like this now we have been given the length of the plan to be 64 millimeter this is where we are viewing from we are viewing from the top this time around the plan can also be called the top view depending on which ever one your instructor is using so this the length is 64 so i'm going to pick 64 millimeter from this particular point here 64 i'm going to mark 64 millimeter so at this point of 64 i'm going to draw my straight horizontal line like this so what we are going to be doing first we are going to pick our center of the plan 
which is going to be 32 millimeter 32 millimeter so like this you are going to pick 32 millimeter like this then making use of thin line please you are going to draw in this manner like this okay now let's start with this particular top here this top here we have been given the length of this place to be 16 so definitely this other place also will be 16 millimeter so i'm going to pick 16 from this place this is 16 then i'm going to pick 16 also from here like this so this is 16 like this then i'm going to draw my straight horizontal line from those points like this then draw another one at this point also like this in this manner okay now let's move straight to this particular place yeah we have been given the thickness of this place to be 12 millimeter which is going to be six and six it is it is located at the center at the center so i'm going to pick six millimeter to to this other edge here then i'm going to pick six millimeter to this other edge here now i'm going to draw my straight line like this it is going to be stopping at this point here so i'm going to draw my straight line like this in this manner okay so now we are not yet done we are going to be drawing the particular hollow as shown in this place we can we cannot actually see it from the from the plan from the top so we are going to be representing it with hidden details we are going to be representing it with hidden line because it is an hidden detail that is shown in that place now we have been given the length to be 30 millimeter that's 30 millimeter so i'm going to pick 15 millimeter from the center 15 15 millimeter to this point like this then i'm going to pick another 15 millimeter to this point in this manner like this now we are going to represent it with short dashes short dashes please short dashes are lines that are used to represent hidden details that is places that cannot actually be seen but you have to represent it because this is an orthographic projection and you are representing a 3d drawing in 2d so you make use of short dashes for this place okay so now we are going to be drawing this particular place also with hidden details also we are going to show this place with hidden details and the length of this place is actually 16 from calculation because we are not giving but i'm going to be showing you how to get that particular length okay let's just draw an external line it's not part of the drawing please don't be confused so this is 30 this is 30 so we are i'm going to pick 30 that's 30 millimeter this is one to three i'm going to pick 30 millimeter let me label here as b then here as a okay so now the height of this place is 12 right so that 12 i'm going to be picking 12 millimeter on my ruler also 12 millimeter so at that point of 12 from this line i'm going to draw another straight line now we have been given the angle the angle this particular angle here to be 60 degree so this place also will be 60 degree because it is alternating so i'm going to place my my protector here and mark angle 60 degree like this in this manner this is 60 degree this is where 60 degrees reaching then i'm going to draw a straight line like this from this point here to the 60 degree length here like this now i'm going to place it at point a also point a then i'm going to mark 60 degree my protector this is 60 degree at this particular point here this is 60 so i'm going to draw another straight line from this point here to this point like this at 60. so the length of this place is going to be 16. the length of this place is going to be 16 as seen this is 16 millimeter so this 16 millimeter is the length of this place here so we are going to be making use of eight and eight from the center this place we have been given this place to be 16 so we are going to make use of 8 millimeter like this we are going to pick 8 8 millimeter like this then i'm going to pick another 8 millimeter like this this is 
8 millimeter also here so i'm going to represent that line with short dashes like this then represent with short dashes also short dashes like this so we are going to thicken out the part that we are going to be needing actually we are not going to be needing all the parts we have drawn so let me start with this Now, when we look closely at this particular place here, we are going to see this hole is an O that is going to come outside at this place also. So, we are going to be representing here also with short dashes. Short dashes like this. Then, short dashes here also. Short dashes in this place. Then, here also like this. So this is the way the plan is going to be. This is the drawing of the plan. So now we are going to move straight to the side view or side elevation, whichever one it is. So we are going to be picking our 45 degree C square first. 45 degree C square. Then we are going to draw from this center here yeah, the the point at which that vertical and horizontal line we drew at the beginning means. We are going to draw a 45 degree line like this. Now we are going to project lines from the plan to the right hand side. After projecting those lines to this point like this, to the line of 45 degree, we are going to be projecting vertical lines from each point at which it touches this 45 degree line. We are going to be projecting vertical lines upward like this. Please ensure it is thin lines please now we are done with projecting those lines upward now we are going to be drawing the side view which is from this particular place we are viewing the side view from here like this now let's first of all start with this base here the bottom here so i'm going to draw this particular place out this cut here out but before i can do that i will have to draw project this line from this particular place which is the front view i'm going to project this line to my right hand side like this so after drawing this particular line here like this we are going to also draw the top also this particular top line here we are going to project it to the right hand side now i'm going to thicken out that line like this so we wouldn't be confusing ourselves like this okay as you can see it is sticking out here it is a full line here so now let's draw this particular box here this small o here that is here we are going to look at this projection from the plan this is where this smaller this place these two small small places here represent these two small small places here like this so we are going to look at the projection at the place where this one is stopping here i'm going to draw like this to this point look at the big projection here look at where it is it is here on this line then look at the small projection look at where it is stopping so that is what we are going to work with doing exactly the same for the smaller one we we'll trace it down to this point then trace the higher one down to this point like this then i'm going to draw in this manner like this okay so now we are going to thicken it out immediately to avoid unnecessary confusions because the lines are are actually many so i'm going to thicken the needed parts out like this then thicken this part out also like this and like this okay so that's that for this down part now we can also see this slanting line here also like this so i'm going to move my square to the top at this point where the slanting line ends i'm going to project a straight horizontal line like this 
now i'm going to trace this point here which is this place here from the plan i'm going to trace the two lines this is where it is like this so at this point i'm going to draw my straight line upward like this making use of thick lines please then trace this point also like this at this point i'm going to draw my straight line like this in this manner so i'm going to join it together at the top like this like this so that is that for that now i'm going to represent these two edges here so i'm going to draw this point then i'll draw this point also like this to this place we are not going to be leaving this place out this particular place is also here so i'm going to draw i'm going to project this place also like this to decide to decide so this is the place at which these slanting lines are going to start from these slanting lines here they are actually starting from here and not here i'm going to be projecting this one also like this we are going to be projecting this one also to the place to this 45 degree line then we are going to project this also to this 45 degree line like this now we project it upward i'm going to project it upward you have to be very very careful while drawing this because these lines are are a little bit many but you just follow the steps i'm taking so you won't make mistake so after projecting this line i'm going to be projecting this top line also like this i'm going to project this top line like this to the to my right hand side like this so at this point when we trace this point that which we have projected like this to this point at this point where it is stopping here we are going to join we are going to be joining this two lines together from this particular place here this place here this is where we are working with with this place so we are going to join these two points like this together like this now we are going to trace this other one too from this particular place here this thin line here then trace it upward this point here this point take note of this place this point is where we are working with we are going to what we are going to project line from here to this line here like this so this is the way it is going to be from this place like this to this place now we are going to join the top together in this manner and this is the side view of this particular drawing ensure you make use of tinting lines for this drawing in order to stop confusion and in order to make your work to be neat if you found value in this video please kindly hit the subscribe button share with your friends that might be needing it and also don't forget to hit the thumbs up button thanks for watching peace